Hello, and welcome back to Energy Scout News and Information. I'm your host, Reb Byers. In our top story today, producers in the Gulf of Mexico are bracing for Gustav, which is expected to hit this weekend. Now, it may become the strongest storm to reach the Gulf since Katrina and Rita back in 2005. Forecasters say Gustav could grow to a Category 4 hurricane with winds of at least 131 miles per hour. And in other news, Venezuela will meet with ConocoPhillips next week to discuss the 2007 nationalization of the oil company's assets. Now, President Hugo Chavez took over four heavy oil upgrading projects last year as part of a nationalization drive. Now, the move edged ExxonMobil and ConocoPhillips out of the country. Precision Drilling Trust plans to buy Houston-based drilling contractor Grey Wolf for $2 billion. Now, the move is expected to give Canada's largest driller additional customers, equipment and crews in fast-growing United States natural gas basins, also in states such as Texas and Colorado. And still to come, a proposal for a natural gas pipeline in Texas. But first, let's take a look at some people on the move. Setco Oil Field Services has appointed Shrikant Kelkar to technical sales for its Middle East operations. Paul Gallagher has been appointed Vice President of Parsons Commercial Technology Group's Energy Infrastructure Sector. And Devon Energy has appointed William Whitsitt as Senior Vice President of Public Affairs. Enbridge Energy Partners, as well as Atmos Pipeline, are seeking an interest on proposed natural gas pipeline in Texas. Now, the Barnett Interstate Gas Pipeline would bridge the two company systems and would provide shippers more access to natural gas supplies. United States scientists say a five-year study shows endangered sperm whales aren't in any danger from oil and gas exploration in the Gulf of Mexico. The University of Texas at A&M led study indicates noise pollution, especially noise generated by seismic air guns during geophysical exploration, and determined that a minimal effect is happening on the whales. And finally, the city of Arat, Australia, is about to start a unique biodiesel trial program. Now, this involves algae being grown in six ponds to produce oil that is turned into biodiesel. The program should be in the beginning stages by the end of August. And now for a look at the industry's major leaders and laggards. Leading the pack today is Petrobras at 3.06%, and lagging behind today is Floor at negative 4.07%. And in strange news today, internal compass, take a look. Want to make a cow move? Point him in the right direction. Go, babies! Go! Scientists in Europe have published research showing cattle grazing or at rest tend to orient their bodies north and south. Didn't seem anybody noticed that before. But when we went up to Triple C Ranch in Sonoma County, whose 440 cows produce clover brand milk, it turned out, hey, that looked right. We have one group of cows laying right there under the tree line. We have this group where we are right now. And if you look out there, there's another group of cows directly in line, and there's a group of sheep on the other side. And all these cows have the freedom to go in any direction in this field, but they're laying exactly in a straight line. North and south. North and south. Bob Camozzi is the fifth generation to farm this land in Two Rock Valley, and he was surprised. Scientists looked at photos taken from Google Earth of 8,000 cattle and 300 herds from around the world, and they found two of three faced magnetic north. Bob Camozzi Sr. says that sounds like bull. Somebody probably in a satellite looked down and said, oh, look at those cows are laying this way and laying that way, and that's what news is all about. Yeah, but which end faces north? And second, you better hope there's no downwind in any direction. And that's it for today's energy headlines. If you have any news from around the oil patch, be sure to contact us at energyscout.com. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for more news in the energy industry. For Energy Scout news and information, I'm your host, Red Byers. Day a little